Now I'm going to go ahead and take us back to the notes. Uh, that was the first page. Here's the second page of the notes. Uh, mine is arranged in different things. I'm going to go on to the next example. Uh, you should be able to find this on your page still. Um, this is just me talking about, I kind of already did this, but I'll fill it in again. Whenever it looks like this, what this means is x equals 1, which is so cool. x equals 1, y equals 2, z equals 9. So cool. Now, what we're going to do on this one is we're going to go ahead and write this into Desmos. I'm going to do this example. The x's are lined up, the y's are lined up, and the answers and equal signs are lined up. So here we go. Let's go ahead and truck through this. 4, 3, negative 4. Uh, then I have 3, negative 1, and negative 3. My one is terrible. Negative 3. So I'm now going to take us back to Desmos, and I'm going to write that into there. This is neat. I want a new matrix. All right, new matrix. In this case, our matrix looks to be, how many rows does it have? It has two rows. Let me go back to it. It has two rows, and it has three columns. So this is a two by three, two by three matrix. So let's calculate this cool thing. So it's a two by three, got it. I'm gonna plug in four, I'm gonna plug in three, I'm gonna plug in negative four. I'm gonna plug in three, I'm gonna plug in negative one, and then negative three. And then I'm gonna hit that enter button so these come back, and then I'm gonna hit that RREF. Look at the name of my matrix, pay attention to that, B. Boom, check it out, we have ourselves the answer. So I'm going to record that answer up on the notes. So this was 1, 0, negative 1. Uh, 1, 0, negative 1. And then the other line, not that, was 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0. If I can get my stupid pen to do right. 0, 1, 0. So what that means is, x on the first line, x equals negative 1. y equals 0. Pretty cool. So you write your solution in this case. The solution, we've been doing this for the two points. When we have an x and y, the solution looks like this. Negative 1 comma 0. Uh, it's asking you what is the value of x times y. I don't think that's pertinent to what we're doing right now. Um, but here you have it. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you this one more time. I'm going to get this basically done. I don't know why it's asking the value of x times y. But x times y is basically 1 times, or negative 1 times 0. Negative 1 times 0 equals 0. I think this will have meaning for us later. But right now, it's whatever. Okay, B, here we go. Check it out. Uh, I'm going to write this as quick as I can. So we have 3. We have 2, we have 1, we have 2, we have negative 1, we have 3. We have negative 1, we have 2. Oh my god, mister, there's no Z, it's broken, I don't know how to do this, I quit, everything sucks. Y'all, if it's not there, it's a 0. Not there in math basically always means a 0. 19, 3, 13. See all that? Now instead of doing crazy stuff, we get to basically just go ahead and write this um, answer in our calculator. So here I go. I'm going to take it right back to the Desmos calculator. I'm going to do new matrix. Uh, my my uh, matrix, how big is it? It looks like a 3 by 4. So let's make sure we understand that. A 3 by 4. Remember row first, column second, 3 by 4. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type this in. So we have a 3 by 4. And I'm going to do it. I'm just going to push pause and have it typed in so I don't have to talk about it. All right, I have that uh, put in. 3, 2, negative 1, 19. 2, oh, I made a mistake right here. Negative 1. Make sure you double check your work. 2, negative 1, 2, 3. Then I have 1, 3, and 0. And if you're wondering, it's from this stuff right here. So um, then we can go ahead and click Enter. Hit our RREF button. Our matrix is C. Make sure you put that in there correctly, C. And then bam, it gives us the answer, which is so freaking cool. So I can take that now and I get 4, 3, negative 1. 
So my answer comes out to, let's see, 4, 3, negative 1. And I know that it's going to be a 1 right here, a 1 right here, a 1 right here, and basically zeros everywhere else, which is just cool. Uh, so the solution, x equals 4, y equals 3, z equals negative 1, and then the solution would be x, y, z, 4, comma, 3, comma, negative 1. And yes, in calculus 3, you do graph in three dimensions. What is the value of y times z? In this case, it is negative 3. We're just multiplying y times z. Okay, that's it. Um, you have a worksheet to do now. And basically, it's pretty straightforward and simple. I would use today for finishing these like calculations on the Des on Desmos, and then finishing any Delta Math assignments you have that are still out, and the quiz.